Hey you guys, I am back by popular demand, lighting, it's whatever. I'm not going through no changes right now. So I just wanted to come and show you guys a couple of pink lipsticks that I like to wear on dark skin. Y'all already see it, it's dark skin. It might be shiny, bright, I don't know. But let me just go on by showing you. I'm gonna show you swatches on me. And I know my whole look with the glasses and everything else, it might be distracting, but try to focus in on the lips. Um, and then I'll just kind of go over some lip glosses that I do have. This is all NYX. Like I said, I love NYX. Okay. Yeah. These are all of the pink lip glosses that I do have. Now, some of them are very, very sheer. Um, ones that you can wear alone or over um, a lipstick. This is Ice Princess, okay? I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see. Ice Princess, Lala, La, which kind of has some shimmer, shimmers in it, and Juicy Pink, which is just a clear pink, which is really, really cute. And these three. Now this one I've showed you guys on before. It's more of a, um, purple pink fuchsia kind of color and this is in uh, African Queen okay which is really really nice if you look back um yeah I have a video that shows this and then there's salsa and then dolly pink now I'm gonna show you guys dolly pink because it's definitely you know it is definitely a bright color but I'm I'm bold with it I really don't care what a lot of people have to say I think it looks cute so I wear it um, what I've been wearing underneath a lot of my lip glosses right now is just this elf candy shop 10 lip gloss usually comes free when you place an order so if any of you guys got that 60% off sale they'll probably put this in there with you with your order so this is what color is this and candy fix it kind of has a little pink tint to it smells really really good and um, yeah so I just use this to kind of kind of moisturize my lips keep them conditioned and soft so anyway let me show you two pink three pink lipsticks by NYX okay now for dark skin for me I like to go for um fuchsias um which are kind of pink purples um the baby doll pink eh, i mean it requires a lot more playing with lip liners and lip glosses to kind of tone it down because for me because the contrast of colors dark dark skin and then something really really pale or milky it gets kind of funky don't get me wrong there are a lot of women out here and on youtube who are dark skin who have pulled it off but i don't feel like going through that much work i do have some lighter pinks and i'm rambling paris is one of them louisiana is another kind of pale pink and i'll show you that one Okay, so the first one is Chloe. This is kind of my go-to pink. It is kind of a fuchsia color. Okay, and I'll just show it on. And it has that blue undertone. Okay. That's Chloe. Really, really like this. What I can layer underneath it, if you want your lipstick to have more staying power, use a lip liner of kind of in the same color family. This one is Purple Rain. Um, and they have another one called Fuchsia, which is a good one. I'll try to show it to you on my hand. You kind of may be able to see that. But you can layer that, okay? So that's Chloe. And these lipsticks by NYX are very, ooh, ooh, oopsie, excuse me, are very, very creamy and go on really, really smooth. So that is a plus. Okay, so the next one is going to be Jim. Now this one also, I got it like this. The rest of it's in the cap. But anyway, this is Jim. 
This one does have some shimmer to it. It is not matte, but I really like this one. Okay, and I'll show you this one on. Get some of this off. Okay. So as you see here, this also has, it's kind of iridescent. But I really, really like this one. Now, some people commented on the last video regarding the red colors. Um, actually, I think it might have been a couple of comments as far as skin tone does not play a big of a part as maybe lip shape. Um, yeah, and they're very much right. Some people have very very full lips I mean there's so many factors that can play a part in what looks good on your mouth so be wise with your decisions okay but I'm just showing these swatches on me and this is Jim I like this you know it's real bold but it's not like Shanae I mean I don't have Shanae lips so on me I love this okay so hopefully I want to inspire some of my dark skin sisters to really try some color because you'd be surprised as to how beautiful it can look on you. I mean, add some color. I mean, I get sick and tired of seeing women of color stick to golds, bronzes, tans, creams, and I'm really focusing on eyeshadow, but even on the lips, browns, plums, Get creative with it. Expand your mind. But anyway, this is um, this is one that I said was a milky color. Let me put on some lip gloss because I feel my lips getting a little parched. They said, <laughs> moisture, moisture. So anyway, this is in Louisiana. This is a little bit in that milky family. Let me show you the color. This is Louisiana. Now, Paris is more of that bubblegum pink, but with that, I like to do a light line um, with kind of a, not a too dark of a brown, but maybe a medium to a lighter color brown, blend it in, and then put a nice uh, clear pink over it. Whew. And if you guys want me to show you, I will post some comments. I can do, you know, so many videos at a time. If I have not, fulfilled a request it's not because I forgot about you it's just probably because I did forget <laughs> but remind me if it's something private message me because those I don't get as much of as I do comments and I really make it a point uh -uh, I make it a point to um respond back damn it I lost my earring back sorry so anyway this is Louisiana and let me show you and my lips already kind of have a pink tint to it now um but see this is a little bit lighter but this is really really pretty mind you i'm showing all of these without lip liner i know some of us love us some lip liner but this is what this looks like on me louisiana and I'm going to have to go to my makeup remover cloths. I'm not going to edit. And you know why? Because I'm a partner and I don't have to. Booyah! <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm showing too much personality. Let me know if I offend anyone. Anyway. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Ugh. I do not like a wet mouth. Anyway, okay, so let me show you, and I'm going to be done because I know we have a short attention span here on YouTube, and when the video is too long, we like to click off, and y'all mess up my stats like that, okay? Um, let me show you the Dolly Pink, okay? Now, if I wanted to do Barbie doll, this would be what I would go for, glossy gloss, you know, hot pink. Personally, when I think of colors, rich chocolate browns, I can pull off bright colors, boo. And that's, I can't speak for all dark-skinned women, okay? I know the gamut runs like this. 
some girls call themselves dark skin and some people say you ain't dark because you're not dark it doesn't matter this i like it okay so i'm gonna show it and this is dolly pink you can put it on sheer you can put it on a couple coats it's up to you all right so this is dolly pink i like bright just warning you guys But just look at how, see that's one, one coat. I don't have on any foundation or whatever. And I say that only because when I put on my foundation, which I've started doing as part of my skincare regimen to help protect my skin, I'm knocking on 30's door. I want to take precautionary measures to make sure my skin looks equally as good when I'm older. Um, my makeup just looks 10 times better with just that finished look. That's just me. And this is two coats of Dolly Pink. I want you to get the full effect. I'm going to do a little mo. Okay. And I just love... the finish of it i hope you guys can see like i said i'm not gonna go through it with this lighting again right now i will fix it if you guys have comments about it let me know but this is what i'm going to show you guys in regards to pink if any of you guys feel like oh no that's doing too much feel free to comment doesn't bother me at all if you guys have not seen some of the comments that have been left for me negativity drama that don't bother me you could call me the n-word I'll leave it up there. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> I won't even block you. You're all welcome. The channel is public. So anyway, the video is sponsored by fashionwithfeefeet.com and thedevour.com. Be sure to click the link below to be directed to the site. Click on the link. I know some of you guys are like, oh, she always say that. Click on the link. Stuff changes. You never know what's there. And... Um, Look forward to a couple of reviews. I have switched over my shampoo and conditioner. I am now having a shampoo and conditioner that I am going to stick with because it is pH balanced. I will talk about that more in another video. But until next time, keep it real. Bye.